Okay, guys, it's time for men now to release their own inner bitch. <laughs> I am David Essel. Oh, gosh, a couple weeks ago, I did a video on releasing the inner bitch that was really aimed at women. And, uh, and since that time, I've had so many guys ask me when I'm going to do a video for them. When am I going to do a video about guys releasing their own inner bitch? And I said, okay, okay, okay. I'll get it done as soon as possible. I am David Essel. So what does it mean for guys to release the inner bitch? Do you know many men, there's a word that they, we used to use years ago, become henpecked in their existence. And, uh, and very successful men, very powerful men, men that are struggling in life. It doesn't matter what you're doing. But we can become henpecked. We can become pushed aside. We can become so exhausted of the nagging, so exhausted of the put-downs from our partners, um, the put-downs from other men, that we end up becoming highly submissive in life. And so when men decide to release the inner bitch, they decide to do one thing and one thing only. They decide to become honest with the people in their existence. That's what it means for most men to release the inner bitch. It's not about necessarily being bitchy and being a jerk by any means. It's about finally standing up and saying, you know what? I, I'm really sorry. I'm going to take responsibility for not speaking clearly and honestly earlier because for 10 years I've accepted you, your put downs. For 20 years I've accepted your put downs. For 15 years I've accepted you making fun of whatever it is that I do. You know, maybe a guy is, is into knitting. For God's sake, there's many men that are. Or maybe you're into some other kind of hobby that your partner or your kids or your brother or your family or your friends give you a real really hard time about it. and for all these years you've laughed it off and so for a guy releasing the inner bitch it simply means to stand up and say I, I need to talk to you about something you know it's been my error over the last five months or five weeks or 25 years that I haven't told you that it's enough already you know giving me a hard time about a b c d e it's it was funny the first couple of times and then since then i haven't accepted responsibility for being honest so i'm going to start telling you right now i'm going to ask you very politely to stop the activity to stop the comments that's it we're done with it okay it hasn't felt good over the years it will not feel good it's not going to change in the future so the best thing for our friendship the best thing for our relationship the best thing for our marriage is for you to stop and I appreciate you respecting my request right now see that would be a conversation that would be releasing the inner bitch for the man being willing to stand up you know and say, oh come on you can't you take a joke you know that kind of stuff which maybe in the past we would have taken as a joke it's saying no. You know what? The male inner bitch is just as beautiful, just as powerful, and just as often unused in many men as it is in women. It's time to stand up to you with your personal power, to take control of your emotions while you're releasing the inner bitch and move forward in life. I've worked with many, many men who have been in counseling, marital counseling, and I'll get them six months, eight months after they've been in marital counseling, I'll come in and I'll see just a beaten down man. And you know, I won't know at first what the cause of it is, and then as we get into a couple weeks, a month of our working together, I find out that in their marital sessions with a counselor, that the, the, the whole edge of that work has turned into the woman controlling the counseling sessions and putting blame upon the husband over and over and over again. And maybe initially it was it was due. Maybe because the guy had an affair, that he drank too much, whatever it might be. Maybe in the beginning of the sessions it was a, um, a, an important aspect for her to get out, to be able to release her and her bitch and to say enough already in front of a mediator, which would be a counselor, a coach, a minister, I'm going to share how I feel. And in that case it looks lopsided at first. You know, it looks like the guy's at fault and the woman is in control because she's finally releasing her and her bitch and being honest for the first time in life, right? But what happens is, and this is why I don't do couples counseling the traditional way, is that eventually most 
counselors, therapists, and ministers, unless they're exceptional, will start to side with the woman in this case. And they'll start to say, holy cow, you know, she has been abused for 20 years by his drinking, or she has put up with a bunch of crap. She's been the victim for 20 years. And in the beginning, that's important for her to have a stance. But I'll get guys that have been in counseling for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, a year, even up to two years, where they're still being derided and beaten upon in these weekly sessions for something that they did weeks and months ago. And I'll see these guys and I'll go, dude, it's about time that you get that male inner bitch out. And they'll look at me and go, what are you talking about? I say, yeah, enough already, okay? There's no more need for you to accept shame and guilt for something you've done in the past. If you have apologized with honesty and if you stopped the behavior and it's been, what, three or four months that you're still in counseling and they're still beating on you, your wife is still beating on you and the therapist, counselor, minister is allowing it to happen, nonsense. Get the male inner bitch out. Have them stand up and say, look, you've had your party, okay? I'm not going to carry the shame and guilt anymore and walk in here and have you beat me up. So it's over. If you want to continue on with sessions and do something productive, let's rock and roll, baby. I love you. But if it's going to continue like this, nonsense. See, that's releasing the male inner bitch. If I can help you, if you're a guy or maybe you're a woman and you've got a friend that you go, hey, this guy needs to hear this, share the video. Contact me at talkdavid.com. This I love this. I love working with women and bringing them up to their own personal power. And I love working with men that have been beaten with shame and guilt and bringing them up to their own personal power by releasing the male inner bitch. <laughs> Love it. This work is so much fun. So share it. I'm at talkdavid.com. And don't forget to sign up at YouTube for our videos here under Super Slowdown. Subscribe so that they're all sent directly to your inbox, okay? Have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye now.